Would you like to be able to buy a loaf of bread for 10 cents? Would you like to be able to buy a gallon of gasoline for a quarter? Well, if our money still had silver content in, you could. A silver dime's melt value is about $1.40. Is it enough to buy a loaf of bread? The melt value of the pre-1965 quarter was $3.50, enough to buy a gallon of gas. And how would you like to buy a 2015 Ford Mustang for $2,300? Well, when the Mustang came out in 64, it cost $2,300. And if you had 2,300 silver dollars today, you could buy that 2015 Ford Mustang fully loaded and have $10,000 left over to spare. Back in the late 50s and early 60s, with one silver dollar, you could buy about five bottles of Heinz ketchup. Today, that same Heinz ketchup would cost you over $12. If you bought a dollar's worth of first class postage stamps in the late 1950s, you could have bought 25 postage stamps. Today, that would cost you well over $12. So prices have been rising because they took the silver content out of our coins and have basically been inflating the money supply ever since. Now, of course, prices, wages, the prices of all things have been going up over time. That's not even the worst problem of government inflation. Austrian economists point to the shock waves that have to go through the price system as a result of this inflation at the Federal Reserve, which ultimately culminates in the business cycle itself. Plus, there's a redistribution of income that occurs as a result of the Fed printing up money so that money goes from the lower and middle classes to the wealthiest classes, as well as government. And finally, uh, when we were on the gold standard, that was put on a break on the ability of the government to inflate the money supply. So because of higher prices, because of the redistribution of income, because of the shock waves in the, through the price system, which results in the business cycle, as well as a gigantic uh, national debt, Austrians support a return to the gold standard and silver content in our coin money. And that's the Mises view.